Hi there, Sue McNenley here, and today I'm going to show you how I use my 12 inch hand shear to cut full sheets of photopolymer plate. Now, the reason that I do this is because I go through probably a thousand <laughs> plates, uh, not full sheets, but I do a lot of work with them, and I don't want to buy them pre cut because I also cut a lot of little weird sizes just to suit my needs and this way I can get the most uh, usage out of one sheet. Also, since a uh, whole lot of whimsy has closed, and I know they offered them in pre-cut sizes as well as full sheets, if you go to Boxcar Press, they will cut them custom for you, I believe, but it really is a lot cheaper just to buy a full sheet. This shear, which is about, you can get it anywhere from 100 to $150, it will, save you money in the end, considering how much cheaper it is to buy a full sheet. So, I'm going to show you this shear first. This thing means absolutely nothing to me. It might help some other, uh, some other things, but it's, I don't use it at all, so let's just forget about it. My shear is bolted down. I used to have it unbolted, just because I couldn't be bothered to bolt it down, and um, then I just decided one day to do it. It really does make it a lot sturdier. It's a really heavy piece. So the great thing is I've got it on an Ikea kitchen island. These things cost about 50 bucks. They are awesome for the studio. They're sturdy. You can beat them up. I've got other things clamped to them. So it really is great. If I ever get a rolling mill, I'll most likely buy another one and just mount it to that rather than buy one of those special things for them. What I do to come up with a level cutting surface is I pile up magazines and books just to get right up to the surface so that when I put my plate down, I'll have a sturdy place to hold it. You can just build one yourself, a little platform, but this works just as well. So what I'm going to do with my plate, I've got a full sheet here. There are some tips like, yes, I can just go and cut it, but you'll get curled edges, etc., etc. So I'm going to show you ways that I do things. I do not wait for dark to do it. Even though light will, look, will start exposing photopolymer, it's not that dire that you have to, that the moment it comes out, oh my goodness, <laughs> you're going to have to race, race, race. I'm just a fairly quick person though anyway, so you might want to practice a bit. When I take it out, I cut it photopolymer side up. I've just found that that leads to the best cut. I also take the plastic off the top piece and right here, I'm going to do this quick because I don't want it exposing, but there's the plastic. So plastic comes off. I'm just going to place it right here. I want a fairly thin piece for what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to hold it down tight, give it a, oh, I just banged into another table behind me. And quickly I'm going to make sure that everything gets turned over just so it's not being exposed. So I'm putting this quickly back into my uh, black sleeve. It never just wants to go in there nicely. And this one that dropped over here, I just flipped it over to make sure that the photopolymer side was down, just, just to get it to make sure that it wasn't starting to expose. Now I'm gonna cut off the size that I really want, which is right there. Quickly turn it over again. I'll put this one away now. And what I have now is the final size of photopolymer that I want. However, there's a little bit of a curled edge there. You can see that I, I think that this is why I, I get such clean, crisp impressions. I don't stand for any of this because when it's between the, the sandwich that you do a photopolymer plate in, you want it to be flat as a board so that the transparency is stuck right to it. If it's curled up in that, the transparency might be, you know, might, might be sitting minutely off of the plate. You just never know. So what I do now, I'll just go in and I'll just, once it's smaller, it's easier to cut without curling. So I'll just go in and usually and take off the corners. And there we go. I have a perfectly flat piece of photopolymer and I can use that now. I'm just putting that right back into my black envelope. So uh, I think that is it. That just gives you a quick idea of how to cut them.